Good morning, folks. We're coming right to spaceweathernews.com, where a lack of Earth-directed eruptions may lull you to sleep, but it shouldn't, because the GOES X-ray chart right below it shows solar flaring on a rise compared to previous weeks. The rub is that these are not yet Earth-directed flares. The Earth-facing quiet effect has stifled sunspots constantly. However, these newcomers are managing to keep it going a bit and appear ready to test the effect as they turn in further. They released big CMEs behind the limb and have some more potential as they turn in. Should be a great test. Website members, we have been eyeing a solar uptick all month at this time. Month after month, you've got to see how easy this is with the planets now. So while the big dog departs, having failed to flare at Earth, we now have two incoming spots on the left there. We cannot yet do proper magnetic character analysis for these umbras, but they do look complex. So folks, you can see the CME uptick here on Soho, Lasco. Per Uyen's longitudinal wave hypothesis, the big quake should return soon. At QuakeWatch.net, we bumped the earthquake watch up to high yesterday in anticipation, especially with the earth-facing heliographic showing two coronal holes on the disk, north and south. Could begin as early as tomorrow. But even still, there's something to report today. Nevado del Ruiz is erupting in Colombia. And so while we wait for the bigger quakes, the top two of the last day, moderate only, were in that same OLR anomaly zone. And you also remember an anomaly wave hit the North Atlantic two days ago. Quakes there took an extra day to get going. Top links today include new Cassini images of Enceladus. These are the last ones we're going to get. Water and ice everywhere. We also have a terrific paper out about new ways of probing the characteristics of a vital core mantle interface region. The paper may be a bit advanced, but the images are pretty and their press release linked an animation of their findings. Looks a bit like that Earthquake 3D map, only this is used for real science instead of fear-mongering on the internet. Lastly folks, SpaceX kicked butt last night. If you don't want to watch the whole 20-something minute show, last night we posted a two-minute recap with all the top scenes and info, including the safe landing of Stage 1, feet down, and the deployment of all satellites. Watch the video at the link found right down there in the video description. New Deeper Look was posted yesterday as well. Hope to get more out before the holiday. Check them out. We're going around the world here and close with a brand new addition to the wind map and shots of our star to close. Solar alert, we've got the sunspots and now the planets have given them permission to roar. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.